And so those are the little touches that maybe only an astronomer would appreciate, um, but, but we're just so wonderfully done. My name is Chris Palma. Uh, I'm a teaching professor in the Department of Astronomy and Astrophysics at Penn State. Uh, today we're gonna watch some clips from Moana, and we're gonna talk a little bit about how they use wayfinding in that movie. I am Moana of Motunui. Aboard my boat, I will sail across the sea and restore the hearts of... Yeah, that, this is just such a great scene for how accurate it is. When I saw this movie the first time and I saw exactly how Moana held her hand, and not just how she held her hand, but what she was lining her hand up with, which were the stars in this particular part of the sky, I knew that an astronomer, uh, and probably not just any astronomer, but a Polynesian voyager, um, had done this and showed them how to accurately measure where you are on Earth just using the stars. We read the wind and the sky when the sun is high. We sail the length of the seas on the ocean breeze. At night we name every star. We know where we are. Yeah. This is great. So, so the stars that they really focus on in this movie are, they call it Maui's fish hook. And the Polynesian people, they know every star and all they have to do is look up. I'm going south, I'm going east, I'm going west. And, and again, that specific way of holding your hand is because the width of your hand helps you measure exactly how high the stars are up above the horizon. And so if you see a star really low, maybe you would do this. If you see a star pretty high, you would do that. And if a star is really high, you might do that. And so he's measuring that the, those stars are about five degrees up above the horizon. So I know the, the point of this particular piece of the clip is, is to show that as you get close to the island, you, you can start to use other clues, right? You can follow the paths of birds. Um, clouds react to islands, so cloud formations will change as they pass over an island. Um, but the thing to, what that speaks to me as an astronomer, that's thousands of miles across open ocean with no landmarks between you and it and you're leaving an island that's miles across, you're heading to another island that's miles across, and you can use the stars to get you almost perfect, and then when you get close enough, you use clues like the birds and the clouds. And so in my field, where you try to teach people how to navigate by the stars, the Polynesian voyagers are just the rock stars of the field. So all of us love to teach that, and to see it shown so perfectly in a movie, uh, really makes me happy every time I see it.